Hey there, thanks for joining me today. I'm Stephanie and I will be leading you through some flexibility poses today. One of the most requested, one of the, mo one of the most asked questions is how did I get flexible? And all I have to say is that I did it three years every day. <laughs> and I mean, you know, after about a year and a half of flexing your body every day, your body starts to go along with you and what you want for your body. So I believe that showing up every day, at least every other day, and stretching your body in the way that you want to flex is a way to get you there. I kind of do full body flexion from yoga. So flexibility is worked in so many different ways and areas on the yoga mat. So today we're going to kind of focus on lower stretching. So a lot of people ask me, you know, how I can do this. And there's just little poses that I've done to get my hamstrings open. So we're definitely going to put more of a focus on our legs today. If you come back to this video and do this over and over again, you'll be winning. Thing number two. We cannot stretch our bodies without being warm. So I'm very hopeful that you've come here after practicing a yoga flow, a HIIT workout, lifting weights, whatever you do to get your body moving. This is something that we do as a cool down. Our bodies are nice and warm and they're much easier to flex that way. Yeah, so we're gonna come on down to a seated forward fold. So legs out in front of us. And we're just going to start here by coming forward. Round the spine, keep the spine straight, however you want to just start stretching out those hamstrings. I always keep my legs at a slight bend because I have hyperflexion and it will really mess up my knees. So I always keep a little bit of a bend. I don't just flex them and push them all the way down. Sweep your arms up and come forward. Now, for a lot of people, this is kind of where we hang out. This is where I hung out here for a really long time. What we're wanting to feel is this massive pull. So our bellies to our thighs is the goal. So if you can just imagine walking your hands forward and feeling your chest and your belly touching your thighs and your knees. If you can get down here, no problem. I always like to use a block to kind of give you a little extra length. You can stack them. This, I feel this when I do this, all down here, along with all down my back. So a lot of people get that from this, but from once you get to a certain point of flexibility, of course you want more. So this is the more. You just, you're reaching for the couch in front of me, basically. And you're wanting your nose to touch your toe. Yeah. Let me just breathe here. Hanging out in this while you are watching TV, while you're waiting for your toenails to dry or something, you know, that would be a good, <laughs> that would be good. Um, we do these a lot in yoga, so a standing forward fold, this is what we're, this is what we're getting at. Okay, come out of that. So there's one really good one. Next one, we're going to bend in our right leg. And do the same thing. You'll probably be able to get a little further here. You're only having to stretch one big muscle versus the two muscles, so it's a little easier. You're going after the same thing, the pull. not just collapsing. 
remembering to breathe. We don't want to just sit here holding our breath. Okay, switch sides. A smile will always <laughs> help you get through these. It's a little bit easier too. Pull. You always have a more flexible side. Always. And I think that it is good to pay attention to which one is better and which one needs more work and what work does it need. Breathing. Okay, such a good one. Shake them legs out. Now we're gonna come into a wide legged. So straddle here. This is my favorite. So if I'm gonna sit and watch TV or wrap presents or do something on the floor, this is the position I choose to take. Two big reasons. First reason, flexibility. Second reason, core strength. This uses lots and lots of core, just to even sit like this. When I first started doing yoga, it looked more like, like this. Because I mean, I had no core, I had no flexibility. Time. That's, that's all that's going to get this. Time and a commitment to yourself to show up every day and to stretch. So this one, I kind of like to rock from side to side. So I like to kind of go over here and then to the right. And I'm just kind of like swinging between the sides here. And this gives such a good inner stretch. So I just swing from side to side a few times and then I will come and do one side at a time. Remembering to breathe. And over to the other side. You just want to walk your fingers as, as, far, as far forward as you can get them. Keeping your feet flexed. Breathing. <laughs> Don't forget it. Walk back up. One more this way. So we're going to try to flex through our worst sides. Um, I love side bending. It is my favorite along with obliques. So to keep obliques and side bends going the right way instead of being my obliques being too tight to where I can't stretch them. I love, 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 love. So drop my left hand down in front of me. Right arm sweeps up overhead to the left side. We are opening, so we are not closing off like before. We are keeping the expansion in the chest. And like I said, this stretch more comes through the side body than it does your actual legs. And other side, so right hand comes down with arms over. Chest is lifted. I don't know that you can see him, but my dog is right here. I know y'all hear him moving around. He's fun. He doesn't know what to think about me talking to you guys and not him, but I'm talking and no one else is in the room. 
He's getting used to it. Aren't you? <sighs> Cobbler's pose. So bring those feet to touch, put them down, and fold. A lot of people like to push on their knees right here. I'm not as much of a fan. You can do that if, if that feels good to you. I just like to wrap my hands around my feet and pull my belly to my feet. That's the goal. And this is such a good stretch for your lower body. Remembering to breathe. I know I'm not teaching y'all yoga flow, but I don't want you holding your breath either way. <sighs> Legs together. Good job. Way to stretch out that lower body. So that's what I got for you today. I do this stretch almost every single time I practice yoga. So definitely a big one. I'll work on a flexibility one next. Um, I'm not a fan of splits, however, I can get into one, but it definitely still hurts. So, like I said in my practice that I posted the other day, this is a journey. There is no end. It's just a continuous journey. So, I hope you enjoy the ride. I hope you enjoyed this little flexibility video. Please comment how you got on and if you liked it or what, what else you'd like to see me do. Namaste. Y'all have a great day.